of Warwick. A vote of no confidence tonight. Teachers in Rhode Island's second largest city say they are fed up with Warwick school leadership. And the move coming following another year without a contract. Teachers coming out at tonight's school committee meeting to make their voices heard along with parents demanding answers. A sick out at Pilgrim High School last Friday. Eyewitness News reporter Erica Ritchie joins us now live from Warwick with the details that are new since 10 o'clock. Erica. Mike and Caroline, the auditorium here at Tollgate High School was packed tonight. Tempers were flaring. You know, the en enemy lines were drawn as this contract dispute has now been taken to a whole new level. As soon as they had the chance, they fired. Today, I couldn't use the TA in my special ed classes. Thank you very much. It was mostly Woolwork teachers who stepped out of their seats in this crowd at Tollgate High School Tuesday night to justify their reasons for a no confidence vote in the administration. There are no violations of the contract at Pilgrim. And this is why there's a no confidence vote, because I have a class that does violate the contract. Earlier in the day, union president Darlene Netco was insistent the no confidence vote had everything to do with the lack of leadership by Superintendent Phil Thornton and school committee chair Bethany Furtado. I want action. Um, you know, there's a message there. That's why you take a, a public no conference vote, but I want action. Do you want to see Dr. Thornton and uh, Chairwoman Furtado out? I want them to do their jobs. I would never want anyone to lose his or her job. The superintendent and chairwoman, though, begged to differ. I would just maintain uh, it has been about uh, the contract and our talks with them. That's the bottom line. That's it. It's the contract and the lack of one. And as the teachers began to explain the heckling and hot tempers that ran throughout the whole meeting, it became apparent the contract may in fact be the underlying issue. Why don't you get some honest negotiation going? We could be very close if you wanted to sit down and get there. Now, some have also suggested that Friday's sick out at Pilgrim High School was also contract related. Here at the meeting tonight, the committee did vote to extend the school year by one day for those Pilgrim High School students. They did make note, however, that it will be an additional cost to the taxpayers to account for busing for those students. That's very latest live with this dispute in Warwick. I'm Erica Ritchie, Eyewitness News.